Hello, welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we are answering is, what's in the box? That is in reference to this large box Robotech game, Invid Invasion, from Solar Flare Games. Uh, something amusing, if you've been watching along with these Solar Flare videos, if you've been keeping track, the boxes just keep getting bigger. The first one, Force of Arms, was only this big. And then the second game they put out, Crisis Point, was only this big. Now, Invid Invasion is this big. I don't know what's up with that. I'm amused by it. There has been more stuff in each box as it goes on, so I guess that part makes sense. So we're going to take a look at what's in this box. Uh, before I get to that, just be sure to uh, click up here on YouTube and take a look at our other content. we got a link to our website, tabletopbellhop.com, as well as a link to our Patreon, where you can tip the bellhop. Enough about me, though. What's going on with this game? So, weary from the constant battle with the Robotech Masters, the United Earth Forces have fallen to the invasion of the slug-like alien Invid. Lieutenant Commander Scott Bernard leads a tight-knit team of freedom fighters towards the main base of the alien invaders located at Reflex Point. Their only hope for liberating the Earth is to defeat the Invid in the Queen Regis before Admiral Hunter's expeditionary force returns to raise the planet and end the threat to the galaxy. Can you and the other freedom fighters defeat the Regis and save the Earth? So here is a complete switch from the last two games. The last two games in this series were two-player only competitive games. This is a cooperative card and dice game for one to six players. Played in two phases where human heroes must work together using their mecha and protoculture to cleanse reflex point of the alien invid invaders and their queen regis before it's too late. Players move their heroes around the reflex point, battling the occupying invid. As time is running out, the heroes use their mecha's combat dice and their precious gear cards to try to wrest victory from the jaws of utter and total defeat. So a total change around for this game. So we're looking at one to six players here. Playing time's up to two hours, so a much meatier game, much bigger, more involved game. So I guess that justifies this much bigger box. Speaking of the box, I'm going to crack the shrink on this, and we're going to take a look at what's inside. Here we have the rather hefty, like, I don't know if you can hear that. That, that is a hefty chunk of a box. The rather big in Invid Invasion Robotech box set. Love the artwork on the cover. Huge Robotech fan here. Really looking forward to checking this out. So we start right off with a rather large due to um, the size of the box. So <laughs> I guess the box had to be this big to fit the rule book. So we have the user manual to start. We're gonna flip through this quickly. Um, whoa, that's, that's a little hard to read. So they have a fading white to blue text with dark text on it, very light. Here's our setup. Again, this looks like a very card driven game again. Compared to the last two, it's one of the character cards. There's a distinct new game smell to this, I will say. Lots of counters, it looks like. What are we looking at page length? So there are rules going right to the last page of the book. We are looking at 15, 16 pages of rules. Then we get into a ton of Robotech standees. These look pretty awesome. So we have a bunch of very cool looking standees. Here we have a bunch, again the blues aren't going to show, standees here. We have Cyclone, various characters, they have numbers on them. We also have some tokens in the bottom corner here. And we're going to throw even more standees. Whole bunch here. Awesome looking Robotech art. I'll admit, miniatures would be cooler, but you know what? I get it. This game would cost a fortune if all of these were miniatures. I'm just going to rotate that around. And we have one of the character cards here, but it's mostly blue, so it's going to be a little hard to see. So we have the card for the Regis here in the top corner, which I'm just going to show off this way. And we have even more counters, tokens, and so on, and then the character cards here with two different three multiple tracks you're going to track on including their mecha armor their dice pool and so on some nice character art off to the side and again more standees and tokens on the edges same deal here for more characters so yeah and i can kind of show these off here you can see them here pretty well 
More tokens, more characters. Next, we have the board. It's a chunky one. Oh, it's nice and thick. So one of the previous games in the series also had a board. This isn't going to be easy to show off on here. Fortunately, it's huge. So what we're going to do... There we go. Look at the size of this board. That is a big board. Lots of spots and squares on it. We had a big board here for Invid Invasion. Okay, back to the contents of the box. We're going to take a look at these dice first. Okay, come on. Why are you giving me such a hard time today? Everything is giving me a hard time today. So here we have the dice. One hit, two hits, and some blanks. There are a number of these. Whole baggie full of them. Also got wooden tracking cubes. These are your typical, as you would expect to find, wooden cubes you'd find in any Euro game. Then we have multiple decks of cards. We'll crack these open and then sort them right in front here. Here, cards. So, Evid Genesis. Pit Creature. I don't even know. Regis cards. Regis Phase Order cards. Invid Abilities. We have a ton of reference cards here. Hero Abilities. This does not look like it's going to be a light one. Sue Scott. Sue... So Sue cards, Scott cards, Rook cards, Rand cards, Lunk cards, Lancer cards, more gear cards. I hope there's not going to be a problem with these getting mixed. More Regis cards, Salt cards, whole ton of Assault cards. And that looks like that's it. So there we have all of the various card types. So here we have the phase Regis order card and the assault phase order card. So that's one of the reference cards. There are six of each of these. We have the invid ability card with the protoculture costs on the back. Again, six of those. And we have the hero ability card. Again, two sided for all the different heroes. Six of those. Then we have. Various cards for the characters. Again, nice. You can see the linen finish there. Nice. So we have three cards for Sue. And on them are three different pieces of equipment for Sue, I have to assume. So lots of blue on these cards, unfortunately. So again, three cards for Scott. Three cards for Rook. There's one we can actually show off pretty good. Three cards for Rand. So one of the things I do know about this game is that you have to play all six characters, even if playing with less than that number of players. And Lancer. Those are the character cards. We're going to move over to the pit creatures. You have a Genesis pit creature. These are all identical. Oh, not quite. So there's a whole bunch that look like this, and then there's a bunch that look like this. So there's green and red ones. A whole bunch of stats down the side. Again, I don't know this game, so I couldn't tell you more than that. Uh, we have the Invid Genesis Fit Pit. We have two of those cards. And we have Syra and Korg cards. These are two-sided, same thing on both sides. Then we move on to gear cards. Got all kinds of stuff here. Alpha drones, autograph or yellow dancer, bio emulators that are blue. Wow, Robotech likes blue. We have a Minmay doll. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> Add on missiles, protoculture, repair kits. Again, that's a lot of blue art. There we go. Here's something stun grenade. It's not blue art. Um, super parts. Lots of upgrade cards. Then a whole Regis deck. 
which is going to be our bad guys. We got Invid Commanders, Invid Enforcers that are mostly blue. There we go. An Invid Grappler, Invid Overlords, and so on. Whole stack of those. Finally, we have the Assault cards Invid Collaborators, Gang Leaders, Dusty Heirs. Invid Fighter Scouts, and so on. This is a significantly huge deck. There's a lot of these. Invid Hive Cores, Mortar Scouts. There's a nice non-blue background character card. And that is it. A whole ton of cards, a whole ton of counters, a rather huge board, and some dice. So this is probably going to be a huge mess um, once I put it away, but hopefully the cards will stay in pretty good shape. Getting this back into the box is going to be interesting for me for uh, sorting through these later. Gonna throw all this back together. Dice fit on top of the board. No, they have to go in there Place down in here with these. And a ton of punch boards here. A bunch of punch boards. And the rule book. That does not look like a light game. It's like a lot going on in Invid Invasion, a Robotech board game. All right, there you have it. Everything you get in the box for Robotech Invid Invasion, brought to you by Solar Flare Games and. Of course, Harmony Gold, who owns the North American license to Robotech. This is the third Robotech game in a series. Uh, this one, though, is the first one plays up to six players and plays cooperative. I do have to thank Solar Flare Games for sending me a copy of this to check out. I am a huge Robotech fan. Really looking forward to check out this game and the rest of the games in the Robotech series. Once I do check those out, you'll be able to see my thoughts at our blog at tabletopbellhop.com. Uh, you can just click up here to get a card to be able to go right there and check that out. The other thing you'll find a card for is our Patreon page, where you can go and tip the bellhop, something I would greatly appreciate. Um, looking forward to checking this game out. You can find us all over the web, tabletopbellhop.com, tabletopbellhop, one word, on social media. That's it for me tonight. I am done unboxing for the day. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.